About two weeks ago, I made a video about where Generation 10 may be possibly based on. And that video actually got a lot of really good feedback and comments, which I wasn't expecting. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through all the comments and talk about what you guys want or think or theorize that they may do for Generation 10, because there are pretty much like endless possibilities, but I feel like there are a few countries or continents that have been brought up and spoken about more than others. So one of you guys named Eric GP3 High commented a very in-depth message, which is actually really awesome. Shout out to you though, Eric. I see your comments and I appreciate them. He said, I would like to see Gen 10 be based on China and Hong Kong. China and Hong Kong have so much culture, lore, diverse animals, different environments, such as forests, deserts, oceans, mountains, caves. Also, China and Hong Kong have so much mythology that they could be that they could base new Pokemon on. That would be really cool. I think China or Hong Kong would be a really great place for a new Pokemon region because I'm pretty sure China and Hong Kong actually have like really cool cities as well. You could have a really unique like city area within the region and then and then go down a few routes and then you're in some lush forest area or you go to the ocean or the mountains and everything. I think that'd be perfect for a Pokemon region because a region needs to be diverse. There needs to be a lot of everything pretty much so i would honestly really like to see china or hong kong another really popular place that i've seen commented a lot is india jacob said i would love to see a region based on india because it's so diverse with culture and nature true i think india would be a really neat and interesting place i also feel like india has a lot of places that people don't know about if that makes sense like i feel like there's a lot of like kind of hidden hidden treasures i guess i'll say within india somebody said brazil i think brazil would be really cool too that's all he said though is just brazil i think the culture of brazil is really unique as well i think that would be a great place so this is actually a reply to eric's comment from squibblier he said not only that but i think arcanine's original dex entry said it was worshipped in china or that it was a legendary pokemon in china and I just hope they reference that Dex entry in the culture of that game. They also remade Raichu's Dex to reference Copperaja in Pokemon Legends Arceus or Sword and Shield. That's pretty cool. If that's true, um, that would be really neat. I think it's cool when they reference something that hasn't like happened yet in a game or reference a Pokemon coming from another area that we haven't actually seen yet. Somebody else commented, I would personally want to see Greece, China, Africa, Egypt, or India as the main Pokemon region of Generation 10. Greece would be cool. Greece has been thrown around a lot as well. Here's another comment that says, a lore filled region like Egypt or Greece would be great. That would be awesome. I think Greece is super, super unique. I love like the Greek mythology with like Zeus, Poseidon, all of that. And that'd be really cool to reference that within a Pokemon game or just have a whole generation kind of based around that. Egypt as well. The whole history of Egypt is just so interesting and intriguing. I love learning about, you know, the pyramids, the Sphinx. Or seeing what people dig up excavate from egypt in like the modern day so it'd be cool to see how pokemon or game freak would kind of incorporate the egypt style into a pokemon game like how they would have the pyramids what they would do with the sphinx like would they make the sphinx in real life be a like a pokemon in the pokemon game like meowth or something meowth actually might be based on the sphinx i gotta look that up egypt does have a coastline on the mediterranean sea and the river and the Nile River and the Red Sea, but but it's a lot of desert. So that's the only only thing that may stop them from doing Egypt is just because it's it's a lot of desert, a lot of sand. So it may not be too diverse. It might be cool to like incorporate a part of Egypt within a different region if in a Pokemon game, if that makes sense. Like just have a little bit of Egyptian stuff within a different Pokemon region somehow. Another guy commented, Ireland would be a good return to Galar to finish the story with the DLC, as would Greece, Italy, and fun regions. As for Australia, they have a lot of creatures that Game Freak won't do justice, like the Huntsman Spider or the Funnel Web Spider. Yeah, Australia has some crazy, crazy animals. That's, that's why I think Australia and, oh gosh, I can't remember the other place, but Australia is one place that people really, really, really want. I personally think I would want to see Australia be Generation 10's location just because of how extremely diverse Australia is, and I feel like, I personally feel like they could incorporate that well into a Pokemon region. A lot of people also want Africa. Africa is a continent though, so they would be able to kind of incorporate a lot of different countries within Africa into a Pokemon region. Maybe, I mean, I don't know exactly how they would do that because a continent is huge, you know? A continent holds a ton of countries or provinces or whatever it may be called in that specific continent. 
So I don't know if, if they were to do Africa, if they would just do like a certain section of Africa or maybe just kind of combine everything into one smaller region. I think that'd be really cool though. Africa is extremely diverse. There are a ton of places in Africa. There's a ton of different sites to see, a lot of different animals in Africa. This one's kind of cool too. Somebody wants a region based on Michigan, which is true. Michigan actually is really diverse. At first thought, Michigan may just be like some random flat land area, but Northern Michigan actually has a lot of diversity with caves, kind of hills, cliffs. There's islands, the Great Lake. It's actually a really cool area, so that would be cool. Another commenter brought up India and how it's a strong possibility because we got Hoopa and Mega Medicham, strong Indian references. Generation 7, we got Young Goose, a Pokemon that's not native to Alola, Mongeese, Pokemon that India is well known for. Generation 8, we got Kaparaja, non-native Pokemon to the new region. We also got a huge focus on Curry. That's true, they have made a lot of references to India, so I think it's a possibility that we could, you know, see India as a future Pokemon region. I don't know if that'll be generation 10 though. I feel like that will be a future generation though, for sure, because India just has a lot to it. Anyways, let me know what your theories are in the comments down below. I personally would love to see Australia. I love interacting with you guys. I love seeing your comments and responding or just reading them. And I was really shocked to see the comments from this video because it got a lot more comments than the typical video that I post. So yeah, make sure to leave a comment, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.